Welcome to the channel, I'm SmileyFaceX and I'm going to put my Australian infantry experience to the test in Door Kickers 2. On the last episode, we went through uh, three missions actually, that all... This one went pretty good. The second one, however, did not do so crash hot. We executed the hostage straight away. The second attempt at it, because uh, we didn't actually sustain any long-term fucking illnesses or anything like that, uh, went a little bit better. However, we underestimated greatly how many enemies there were, and the hostage got clapped once again. And then the third mission. The third mission was actually a bit of a fucking banger. Very complex, uh, but we handled it really well, and I don't think we really uh, had too many fucking issues at the end of the day. We managed to get everyone out of there, just a couple of injuries each. Um, really well executed. If you have having trouble with this mission, I'd definitely check out that episode, because I think it was pretty clean, and definitely not the... Um, ideal soldiers that you'd want to use taken into this mission. Anyway, let's get on with today's episode. Alright, we have Maniac's Mansion Hostage Rescue. Alright, so there's two hostages, there's a fucking informant and his son, and there's also suicide vests. Those are the big takeaways. Oh my god, so where can we approach from? Southeast, horrendous, the northwest, horrendous. Alright, let's think about this a little bit. Put our fucking brain power to work. All right, we got the plan. Uh, let me put dudes in, give them loadouts, and then I'll explain what we got going on. Be right back. All right, quick purchase, two bucks. All right, we have the loadout. Okay, so we're gonna start from the southeastern side. We've got Roxy with the normal uh, setup. Correction, Nobs with the normal setup. Roxy as well. Raven has a RPK. Digu's running his kind of normal uh, normal lot. And Bangrang's just running the normal supporting cast fucking setup for the militia. We still have six bucks to spend. I almost thought about buying the M249, but the uh, RPK just has slightly better stats. But the magazine uh, capacity is really what was kind of almost getting me there. But anyway, the game plan. Okay. <clears throat> so the reason why I chose the southeast as opposed to the northwest is because of this building here. So if you look at this building here, it has two exits, one here and one here. And from a covered position on a car, we can cover both of those. So we can isolate this building, which means then we can hit the other. And coming in from the top, we've got nothing. We've just got windows everywhere with no pieces of cover anywhere to be. Sure, we can smoke it up and get here real quick, but then once we go in, we're going to have to constantly be watching our six o'clock um, because we don't have any uh, firm ground on the outside. So once the RPK is in position, which we'll utilize some smokes to do, uh, we're going to move the rest of the team in and we're going to clear all these by the windows. So we're going to have someone set up back here probably and we'll just bounce car to car using the uh, cover of the car and cracking the drapes out and shit like that. Clearing these rooms externally. Once those rooms are clear, we're going to keep going around, clear out these three rooms. And at this stage is where we, we may take this fucking door, or we might just punch out and keep going through this way. And then maybe once we get here and we keep someone here because we can't drop the six o'clock, maybe at this stage is when we crack these doors and we take the, uh, you know, the center foyer. Then we send small teams through to clear the rest of this shit through this way. Once this is sorted, we really only have to worry about the backyard and then our isolated building. So, let's see how that fucking actually plays out though. That's another thing entirely. So, where's our fucking bangerang? First thing we need to do is we need to get smokes up. So it looks like here is pretty clear. So we probably don't need to worry about that too much. I am going to be, if I can. Yeah, there we go. That's really what I want to do. Really make a good smoke cover right now. And then we'll get into the, uh, the guts of what we're doing. Nah, actually save that. All right, let's see the smokes. Alpha, go. All right, now let's kick these open. 
now that they're open, it's time to move. Specifically, Raven. Really? Actually, let's just point this way so we can get there. Once he's here, we want him covering something like that. Looks freaking perfect. Same, same. We're just going to hold uh, Nobes. is probably just going to stay where he is. Nah, we're going to push. We're going to push with everyone. Everyone needs to be pushing. Uh, light blue can come in as well. Push to the next car. Light blue can be focused up this way though. Same, same with green. And Digger just needs to do the same. So we've got RPK one way. Let's put green over here actually and get him this way. All right, let's get that cracking. Oh, that's pretty bad, actually. Oh, that's really bad, actually. That means, like, orange is kind of in a shitty spot. But just this guy. Uh, once this guy's here, he needs to switch as well. Green now doesn't really have a job. He's going to try to run. And then bang. I think we... Do we shoot on the move or do we run? I think we definitely need to... Oh my god, this is tricky. So we need to have Aqua going onto this side of the car. And this guy going this side. That way they don't overcross, which would cut each other's arcs off. Alright, let's see if that helps. Okay, Roxy took a hit. That's okay. We took out the most dangerous one, which was this one up here. Mm, this is the next biggest issue. Roxy's real fucking hurt. You just get down. Does that help? Okay, we got... Bangarang got to a car, which is very important. Roxy's still fucking hurting. Digger's fucking hurting. Roxy went down. Suicide bomber's here. We, the suicide bomber. Oh my god. Oh my god. Once the smoke clears up, this is going to be... Yep. Damn it. Oh, no. Oh, going to watch that back just because I feel like the plan was solid. They were just absolutely set up for it is the problem. Even the smokes. Uh, just so many of them. Oh, my God. Yeah, so, so, oh, my God. It was bad, wasn't it? Look at them all. Wow. Well, that did not go very well. The next mission. Countryside Jackpot. Okay. Nothing too surprising about it. We are on a, a bit of a time, time issue here. Like, this guy's killing in six. Oh, my. And we've only got two dudes. We've got... This guy, and we've got Mr. Dot. Uh, that's not that's not a lot of dudes, if I'm being honest. You're going to change our sight across to our red dot. Yeah, let's... Bangs and frags, why not? This guy just bangs. He can go the AK, I think. It's a close range map. Uh, so we've got a couple of options... So once we take this, it's probably going to be punching through the building because there's no actual way into the fenced area from what I'm tracking. So we're going to have to punch through everything. All right, let's 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 make this happen. We do just have to go like immediately and this guy's responsibilities is going to be long cover. 
is going to be kind of just Orange's job. Let's see if we can get it done in time. So you got eyes on there. He does not. This guy, he needs to go a little bit more forward so we can see the doorway. Alright, that was in a fucking nasty little position, wasn't it? Keep going, we got a little bit of red space, but that's okay. That's awesome. We actually got some cover there, so let's use that. Let's help him out just a touch. All right, we copped a hit, but that's okay. We, I think, have bought ourselves enough time to Get around this. There is a built up position here, so we're going to bang this room. Ah, oh, the timing. Let's watch it back. There was, yeah, it was just a huge timing issue there. We barely got to the dude in time. God, it was quiet. Yeah, I should have pushed uh, the dot up to those that piece of cover a lot earlier. Yeah, it's just like right as I threw it, they come out. Ah, damn. All right, they're going to kill the informant if he tries to leave. So we have to get in, grab him, get the fuck out. We have one dude. We have Jogsley. Uh, that's not great. What is our play? This is a really good firing position initially. Uh, and then dealing with the rooms is a little bit annoying. But if we clear them as we go, we might be okay. Alternatively, we could hold there for a bit, plant a wall charge here and just try to go this way. But dealing with like multiple rows of shit is real annoying. And they could be behind the cars. Um, we kind of don't want to enter this area. We really want to... Clear room one, room two, and then swing around here for three into four. Um, and just kind of avoid this if we can. Let's do the setup. I'm going to buy a hammer for him because why the fuck not? And yeah, I guess this is, this is us. Do we want a red dot? I think we do want a red dot. It's what, better up to like five to 10 away? Nah, it goes fine. All right, let's do it. We need to pick down this fucking thing first. And we need to clear the truck. The truck is clear, let's keep going. See if there's anyone hold up behind it. It's like they're coming to us, so we don't have to go to them. As soon as we clear that corner, we're back to facing up here. Beautiful. Let it play out. We're okay. Let's chuck in a quick reload. All right. Let's clear what we can, see what we can see. It's okay, should be. It's good, we're gonna quickly duck in here and we do just have to go. All right, we copped a hit, but that's okay. They cracked that other door, so I think they're gonna come. So let's get behind some cover. Nobody. All right, quick reload while we're here. Now we need to fight our way back out is annoyingly the problem. All right, let's do it. Mm. 
Okay. Yep, multiple threats. Let's get against the wall. Okay, we've got some fucking time and space. Let's throw in another fucking reload. All right, let's get back out there. We are heavily injured now, which is a bit of a problem, not gonna lie, but. Whoa! Okay. Suicide bombers, always fucking annoying. Uh, we, we kind of have cleared as much of this left as we can. Let's see if we can clear anything on the right. Once again, let's get back for a quick bloody reload. Just heard something. Doors shut, which is really good. A bit worried about this corner. I'm gonna have to ignore the corner because I think that is a much lower threat than this actual main area. Yep, there's another threat. Let's see if they come to us. Was that the guy? I don't know. Let's give it another swing. It was not. Waiting, waiting. Let him come out. Alright, let's take the fight. He was about here. Fuck yeah. Again, let's wait. He's moving. Is he coming towards me though? Holding. Ah. All right. Bad spot to reload, but. It's time to go, and we have to go fast. Oh, that was... Oh, that should have been a bang, I guess. Ah. He cleaned up 19 dudes before he went down. Problem with banging is we have no standoff, and that guy being right in the doorway just... Oh, God, does that hurt. Jugsy put up a heroic last effort, though. I thought, I, I thought we were actually going to get away with that mission. But alas, it was not to be... Nice, slow and steady, one fucking room at a time. Loading. You're always going to take hits in this type of, uh, you know, shootout. I think at this stage, yeah, we're still lightly injured. We're not far off being heavily injured, though. Try and just use every little breather you have to set yourself up for success. Do some tactical reloads, get back out there. Get the information and then deal with it afterwards. That's that timing on that was just similar to the last thing. Bit of a cool lateral. Let me just keep working it. We've got so many, like, four doorway little room here, which is just awful to deal with. Loading. 
pretty much stand in this corner. If any door cracks, we immediately swing that way was my thought process. And we definitely hit this door from the correct angle because there needs to be someone standing right here to kind of punish us. And I don't think... I think we had to go dynamic because if we were slow and we were just chilling here, we'd get shot in the back, I think, almost definitely. So we did need, just need to crack it and go, especially because there's a threat that they're going to execute the VIP as well. That's also another consideration. But probably cracking it with a bang was probably the play. Thank you. Yeah. Well... That is the glorious end to the SWAT man challenge. I hope you enjoyed. It was a bit of a different fucking take using these dudes. It was fucking really weird to get used to. It's hard. The hardest thing to get used to was not being equal or better trained than the enemy and not having a, a lot of uh, long distance options for my weaponry and stuff like that. So the tricky parts not having glas as well like that long range he really helps and the rocket launch is too slow so i don't count that but anyway i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something i did want to try to crack out the shield if i could but i never really got a chance so stay tuned for that i'll try to squeeze it into a level somewhere and see how it works out because i am pretty excited to give that a go but uh yeah anyway we'll see you next time peace